What's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums. I hope everybody had a great, great holiday. Tonight I'm doing a water change on the 10 gallon and I'm also going to be doing a little uh, experimentation. As you all know, I like to experiment with this tank a lot. And tonight I'm gonna to be installing a mini media reactor using Dr. Tim's NP Active Pearls. And this is going to remove nitrates and phosphates a little picture there i just read the directions seems really really simple to install comes with a pump that you can control the flow and if any of you have gotten dr tim's np active pearls in your my aquarium box and haven't used them yet i'm going to show you how it's done we put these in a salt water box a few months ago and i've been excited to try them out myself so here it goes. Stay tuned, folks. So, folks, it is pretty simple. This comes right out of the box. You fill it with the pearls. Pump literally just slides right in the bottom. I'm not really sure. I mean, it's... See if I can put this down and do it one hand. Um, this pump is just... The pump itself is really cool. It comes with all the, it looks just like a power head. It comes with all these attachments, you know, for flow. Um, as far as going in this, it's really loose fitting. Um, I don't really like the way it goes in, but we'll see what happens when I put it in the tank. So let's check it out. So it looks obviously really awkward in the tank. The tank is not as, you know, aesthetic to the eye but this is an experimental tank i like to experiment with a ton of different things in this tank and this is one of them i tried a protein skimmer and saw some reaction with the tank and now i want to try this me uh, media reactor uh the the reactor itself uh the suction cups aren't that good and i it's probably because i got a ton of coralline algae on the glass and it's just not sticking so that's why i have the cord going up the front of it and then I taped it to the back it's kind of holding it in place it keeps tipping over uh, the dr. Tim's NP pearls are kicking some butt uh, it's working great in this in this specific reactor dr. Tim's does not make this reactor um, the reactor comes from another company I'll post a link down below but the NP pearls are from dr. Tim's and I'm really curious to run this for a month and see the nitrate and phosphate levels i've taken my poly filter pad out of the hang on back so all that's in the the hang on back for filtration is a sponge and chemi pure blue and we'll see what these np pearls do to the tank i'm hoping to see some improvement um and we'll see you know basically what it what it does i love to experiment with this tank um, you know, I'm not touching my 40 gallon coral reef. I like the way that is. And I don't like to, you know, that's dialed in. It is what it is. I'm not touching that thing. I'm just taking care of it. This tank, however, 10 gallon nano, I like to mess with it a little and see what's what, see what I can get away with, see what I can do to improve the tank. You know, does a does a media reactor like all of a sudden make this tank 10 times better and is it worth staring at it like that you know it's not too bad i can do it but this is what it is so i just thought i'd give you that video i'll post a link down below to all this stuff don't forget to get yourself a my aquarium box folks you could have np pearls in your box you could have all sorts of fun stuff and uh i hope you enjoyed this video go subscribe to my aquarium box i'm out